watching Gully TV, I have a very special guest. As I always announce, all my guests are special. Um, lyrically, a, a real standout as of late, you know, my platform out of Queens, New York. Go ahead and introduce yourself, G. It's your boy Cosmo, criminal guard. Peace, peace. What's going on, my man? How, how you going? How you feeling this afternoon? I'm feeling good, brother. Had a good, like, good night last night. Uh, hung out with a uh, Capone and a uh, Tribe and a couple of good brothers. I saw here, you know, making moves and I've uh, been putting on for hip hop. So I had a good night last night. Right. So definitely you, had a good day today. So you attended that they uh they versus it was basically a versus battle, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. How'd it go? They don't. They didn't too much make make songs for the chicks and shit. They straight got <laughs> with it. <laughs> they trash might have had a joint, <laughs> right? Um, who did you have as a pick? Had, who did who did you pick in that? You just went to go check the festivities, or did you have an actual a pick in the um the battle? I didn't, I didn't really have a pick. Uh, I didn't think it was both queens for me, so um, it was just good to see them uh, see two dudes that I you know kind of came up under their music and watching them, you know what I'm saying, out here in the streets and watching them on TV do their thing. So it was just a win for me right. just to see Queens up there rocking out. How long How long you been doing music? How long you been an MC? I've been an MC gully for about maybe like 15, 20 years. 15, 20 years I've been an MC. Maybe even longer than that. If, if I really wanted to go in and dive in, I can remember like Rob, you know, as a kid and shit like that. Right. So, um... It, it's it definitely been something that's in, in my in my blood for a long time since I can remember. Like I'm a fan of hip hop, Run DMC. Uh, my favorite movie is Crush Groove. Um, I I can remember going to the movies to see that as a kid. So I've been I've been uh, MC in a long time, definitely. Right. But ser seriously though, the last the last two or three years, seriously. Okay. When you say seriously, you like record and build momentum. Actually, right. being being criminal god publicly, right, right, definitely. That's definitely. been your handle the whole time. So that again, I couldn't hate part so. Criminal god, that's been your handle. That's been your name the whole time. Criminal, criminal god was like uh, something on the streets that was calling me. I didn't really, I never was really using it in the music, and then I don't know, the light bulb just went off. Like, yo, use this in the music, you know. Uh, my whole family is five percenters. Um, so I can remember as a kid, like, hearing my grandparents call my father, uh, you ain't no god, you cr you're a criminal god, that type of energy, you know, because the five percenters were considered back then, like, the, 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 the modern day gangs of they, of that time. Right. So that was, that was how they was always referred to me, you know, um, referred to us in my family, like, you're, you're a criminal god, you're doing all this other crazy shit out here, you calling yourself god, you're a criminal god. So that was kind of like the underlining joke in my family. With me, or you're a criminal guard. You carry on the criminal guard tradition. So I said, you know what? Let me just use it in the music, and it kind of it's kind of working. Right. Okay. What's uh, who were some of your your um inspirations in regards to you know being being a um on a five percent rapper? Is that what you would is that what you would consider yourself? Um, when yeah, I say I, when I say when yeah. I say five percent rappers, we have Wu, Wu Tang are five percent rappers. Uh, I think right. Tragedy's a five percent rapper. I mean. Yeah, I am a five uh, we're in that jacket, a five percent rapper. You know, I'm a five percent, I'll let it be known. Um uh my my influence is definitely brand new beard, um Kooji rap, uh Nas, um Jay Z of course, the Biggie, um a lot of a lot of the groups that paved the way. Um like I saw your interview the other day with the brother Cool Kim, like uh, UMCs, those brothers definitely, I can remember, like, they impact, seeing them brothers come out, um, Onyx, every, everything Queens heavy, Onyx, um, Capone and Noriega, uh, everything Queens, basically. Oh, you had a lot to choose from. <laughs> you had a yeah, lot. yeah, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you had a lot to choose from. Shout out to Queens. Tell yeah. me where you was at when Nas and Jay-Z was going through their situation. I was, I was, I was all the way Queens with it. 
all the queens with it. I, was, I definitely knew it was something that that was dope for hip hop. Right. If I lived in Brooklyn, I probably would have said Brooklyn too. Mm-hmm. I was from, but I'm from Queens, so I was I was biased all the way. I'm not even gonna hide that. And um, I think Nas held it down for real. Definitely held it down. Do you think um, Queens has a sound? Queens MCs have a sound. Is there is there a Queen sound? Last night when you went to that uh, that battle, you said there wasn't no females there. Right. They might not be hip to that sound. You know that sound that we desire and shit. Right, right, right. I know what you mean. Um, I think I think Queens definitely do got its own uh unique um uh, makeup of of what it takes to kind of like get kind of like noticed out here and heard and kind of tap into that. The vibe that's going on around here, so I guess it is it's a, it's a king sound. Right. Not 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 really something that could be kind of like um, artificially, you know what I'm saying? Maybe not for somebody to just jack and say I'm just the queen sound, but for people that really in Queens, they know they they can tap and they hear it. They know it's the queen sound. They know what it is. That video that you sent me, um, you you shot it in the projects, right? Uh, which one? Problem child. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, the problem child freestyle. It, it was. It, it was shots of the, uh, you was in the piece too. You was on a basketball yeah. court, I believe. What, yeah, 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 yeah. what was that, Baisley or 40? That was 40 Projects. 40 Projects. So right. that, that's your neck of the woods? The, uh, really, the whole South Side is my neck of the woods. I'm from Sefton Boulevard, which is all in South Jamaica. I'm from Sefton Boulevard, Fox Boulevard. But um, I've made it my business to be in, my, be in the South Jamaica and be familiar with everybody in Daisy Projects, 40 Projects, um, Rockaway Boulevard, God Brew or something Boulevard, the whole South Side, I made it my business to 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 make it like we family. I connect with everybody I need to be connected with out here growing right. up as a kid. Okay. So um, I, I definitely rep the whole South Side, but that, that definitely was 40 Projects that day I was out there. I was out there on God, God Brewer a couple times and shit with, uh, with Shay Davis and them. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know Shay? Yeah, I, yeah, I know shit. Yeah, yeah know shit. my God, I was out there. Yeah, was, yeah. yeah. Um, who deal. else I was out there with? Oh, did you know Maserati Fox? I didn't know Maserati Fox personally, but we had some of the same uh, acquaintances, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, but I didn't know him personally though. But like, we definitely had some of the same acquaintances. Uh, I had a family member that ran with him. They ran together. Uh, God bless the dead. Uh, my cousin Cheese, and so they ran together, man. And um. God bless Dead Fox too, man. They they definitely was out here making moves out here in Queens. Right, right. Um, this trip, you said it's been about uh, what you say about three years this time that you've right. been putting an emphasis on being an MC. Right. Yes. Three yes. years. Tell me the response that you've been getting from um, the elders, who will be who who would you know for the most part appreciate the lessons and shit like that. What's the reception? Oh, uh, the reception is dope. Um, a lot of people. Are, a shock I'm even saying the shit I'm saying. Um uh, the reception is real dope, uh, they 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 wanna know where I'm you know, they wanna know who you know, where, who am I, you know, where I'm from, what you know about that, how old do you wanna know all that stuff. Um the, the reception is definitely great. It's great to, to for them for me to know that I'm tapping into something that they hold dear and into their heart, you know what I'm saying? I know how serious it was. Um as far as the stuff I'm kicking and I'm talking about to them when they was coming up. I know you like that. I know you like that when them OGs be in your comments and shit like that. Cause they, they, be, <laughs> they be serious. They be serious. They be serious. I be reading the comments. So you got some very, very uh, interesting comments under your right. videos. Word. So, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. T- t- tell, tell me about... um. The construction of the problem child freestyle. What type of message you, was you trying to convey on that legendary track? Wow. Oh, oh, I just wanted to, to be honest with you. I just wanted to. Um, anytime I anytime I get on the track, my whole intention is just get on there and just talk what I know, talk uh, talk what I feel, just to body it, uh, to let motherfuckers know by itself. Uh, my, I just want to let you know I'm not playing with you. And um, the message I just wanted to portray is just, just come across is just like I'm, a, I'm an MC, um, and the, the art of MCing is not gone at all, and especially like this art right here. Like when I say this is a style you haven't seen in a while, I really feel that way. Like right. this is this is something that people haven't really 
Honey is seen in a while, and um, they they still in it, and they, I think they appreciate it. I really do. I appreciate it. What I what I think is is dope and, and very necessary about it is that you that you you being you you being you know Almighty you and shit. I think that that's dope in a in a um in a in a climate where everybody is for the most part the same. Everybody wearing a certain type of clothes. Everybody rapping on a certain <laughs> so everybody rapping uh got the same type of topics and shit like that. You understand what I'm saying? Like back in the yep. day. Uh, Chuck D was different. Kane was different. KRS was different. EPMD was different. Everybody had their own almighty wow. style. Word. Word. Yeah, yeah. I gotta be different. I gotta be me always. Word. Collaborators at at, the, at so far. Anybody? Um, as far as production wise, uh, DJ Elias Christ. Um, he's oh. definitely been a um a dope uh. A dope person to have in my corner as far as like, listen, I tell DB all the time. He took my he took my MC training wheels off. Cause I was, you know, I was going through a lot of shit and I couldn't like really get it together and get a focus. And he used to be like, yo, God, like you got everything right here, you got it, like just take these take these steps right here. And I was like, you know what, let me let me just fall back and, and take those steps to, you know what I'm saying, how he was giving them to me. And ever since then I we just been we should be moving like a train, and I definitely want to uh, thank DV and um, also Cool G Rap. You know, G Rap been in my life for for years. You know, so over over ten, fifteen years, and um, just being able to be around him and soak up how he do business, the energy, um, just the whole art of being an MC and watching him just rock out and create, and um, that was that's definitely something that was dope to be able to have to be a part of and have around. Me. How did you um, encounter Cool G Rap? Did y'all encounter uh, each other musically, or was it just you know? At, at first, uh, for mutual acquaintances on some um, on some street shit, we were, like, we were just all connected. Um, he had uh, he knew a partner of mine, and um, the, uh, he was just be like, "Yo, G Rap gonna be here. Let's you know, let's go over here. Let's go over here." And it was all you know, everybody was making moves together, just making sure the team was safe. And right. um, and from that from that moment, I don't probably was like, in, wow." This was maybe like in the ni late nineties. Yeah, late nineties. I had probably ran in the, this was our first scene, Pat Poos, and he was just coming up and um and G Rock was uh dealing with a he had a uh artist by the name of Ma Barker. They were working hard together. So this is around that time when I first met G Rap. And um and we and we kinda started linking up. And then it became on some music. I had uh, me and my brother had got a recording studio out here in South Jamaica, built one. And maybe like for the two years, G Rap was there every day recording in my studio. Every day. And we would just sit right there and um talk, laugh, joke, you know, drink, smoke, you know, party, you know, just it's all everything is a part of the game. I was just, you know, really soaking up the energy and the vibe that he had around him. And um that that was dope for me to experience. And um it, it was it was it was it was it was something that made made me feel like, you know what, this is something I gotta do, I gotta take seriously. And I held on to that in the back of my mind. It was like, man, how could you go from hanging out with G Rap to being, to being, you know, to going back to some regular shit, you know? Right. So um, I, I caught that bug, you know, I caught that, that hip hop, that rapper bug right there and then. And I'm um, hanging out with them and just a lot of wild, a, wild, a lot of wild experiences with that brother, man. Great time. Nothing negative or all great times for real. Oh, no. What was you at during the, um, what was you at during the DVD era? I used to come out there and shit. I used to be out there with my cameras and shit. What was you about? Um, Early, uh, like, 06, 05, 04, and shit like that? What you use that? I was doing a set bid. I was doing a set bid. Um, I was in MDC Brooklyn. Federal Detention Center. Yeah, that's exactly where I was at. <laughs> okay. I remember when I came out in 2006, yeah. Okay, um, see, you voluntarily, um, you voluntarily confessed to me that you was incarcerated. I wasn't gonna imply that your skill set. Right, right. I wasn't right. gonna imply that your. <laughs> I wasn't gonna do it on. You know what I mean? We just met. I don't know you like that. I wasn't gonna <laughs> imply on camera that you know what I mean your skill set, your dribble was you know was perfected in the in the joint and shit. Is, is there any truth to that? Because I hear, I hear when I hear. Certain um, lingo and shit like that. I know a guy that been around the block and shit like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, 
Um, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say, listen, I only did, I did two years. That was enough for me. If I had to get any dribble out of that, that was, that was it. So, so was so, you um, rapping? Oh, uh, yeah, I was rapping. I was rapping. It was a lot, of, I was rapping in there every day. Uh, probably for the last year of, of that, of that little skit right there. And, um, there was dudes in there from, you know, everybody from New York, there was dudes in there from Philly. Uh, might have been a couple of DC, DC dudes that came through there. For the most part, everybody was on some, everybody I, I came across that had bars. I, I, I wish I could remember this wonderfully dude, man. He, he had bars though, man. I never, I never got a chance to kind of look back up with him once everybody touched down. But, um, it was some dudes that really had some bars. Really had some ball behind right. the walls. <laughs> See, I be wanting to hear that shit. I be wanting to hear that shit about them MCs that's that's still behind the wall because <laughs> they be real, <laughs> real gifted, man. Um, I don't know if you heard Green Double. Green Double is a guy who's on my channel. He he used to uh, run with the Trust Gang and Thirty Eight Special them, and uh, he's a he's a New York State Prison legend. You know, with the with the rap shit. He oh, got yeah. yeah, hell yeah. He got this song. On my platform, it's a two-part song. It's, it's a story. It's called Mitch Green. This shit is unbelievable. And you know yeah. that it's so meticulous. You know that, man, this nigga was in jail when he wrote this shit. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah, I, wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't trying to be a quick... <laughs> I ain't not a type of guy who could really do the nigga like that. Nah, I'm, you know, I, I, I definitely did meet some dudes in there while I was there that, was, that definitely was nice, man, and talented. And I definitely wanted to see them do they take they take it all away because uh, dudes got some talent out here for real. Word. 2021. What's your objective with this music thing, man? The, um, the internet is starting to take notice of you. I know I, I, I'm very aware of, of your momentum because I posted a couple of your vid videos. One of the early ones right. that didn't get so much response. You know right. what I mean? And you know, by the time you know, Problem Child came through, I seen engagement. That means people are sharing it, they commenting and talking under it, and they liking the video. So obviously, you got some momentum going. Tell me, what's what's your objective with this thing? My my objective is to just take it to the top, gully. I gotta, I'm just to be consistent, to put Queens on the map, to put New York City. East Coast hip hop, forget being, forget even being geographical. Just putting MCing back on the map, um, putting real honest uh, bars on the map, putting real honest um, people in front of in front of the camera that's gonna talk to the people about what's really going on out here in these streets and give it up to them in a way that they're not gonna get it from the industry because it's already polished and and and, and made to for their own agenda. You know, I want to give you hip-hop right. that you can be objective about and you can still learn something from and still get that energy that you need from it to keep it moving. So 2021 is just to, it's just a smash on everybody, basically. No you know, I'm, I, I'm not coming here to play around with you. It's, it's no going back to me. What else, what else I'm going to do? I don't have nothing else to do. You know, my, uh, my personal life is falling apart. To keep it all funky with you. So I gotta keep going with this music right now. It's not even gonna shit on everybody that's shitting on me right now. Oh, let me <laughs> tell you something. Let me let me tell you something, God. Listen. What's up? In regards to this this entertainment shit, it's moving very fast. You don't need no personal life. You yeah, don't need yeah. you, don't, you don't need no personal life. You know what I mean? Right. You need a career and a business life. You know that's what I'm saying? Fact. So yeah, a lot of that, you know, a lot of, you know, everyday Things that we deal with, um, relationships, different things. We got to, like, detach ourselves from that shit just for a minute to perfect right. the dribble and shit. And then we can come back and rec recover that. Recover you know that. I mean? So, Man, yeah. That's exactly, yeah, that's, I, I appreciate you saying that. That's exactly what I'm going through right now, like, real life. Like, it, it, the universe is showing me right now. Right. You're going in the right direction. Some, some things you have to come back and scoop up, you know, double back around for but keep going, keep going in the right direction. I'm glad. Right I'm, all, I'm also glad that you're a representation of that area, um, that South Jamaica Queens area and shit. Because that shit was like that shit's been vacant for a minute. It's been. Right. I've been doing media since fucking domination and top of the line and all of them niggas, yeah. pretty and all of them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I said, I was around Shay Davis and them man, so I used to be around yeah. them. Around it. and it was a lot of them. It was a lot of them, and then it just they it just like they gradually just faded away and shit. You know what yeah. I mean? Prince, the black hand niggas and shit. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Prince, man. Shout out to Prince. Yeah, 
exactly. You know what I mean? So exactly. yeah, man, I like, I, I like, I, I like, I like it because y'all criteria, y'all, 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 y'all offsprings of that, that machine. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> y'all, it is, man. And I hear it in y'all music, and I be liking that shit, man. I be liking that shit. You know what I'm saying? You can tell that y'all are. Our, our children of that that machine that was over there in the early eighties and shit. <laughs> it's, it's, it's still a very sensitive sensitive issue over here. And even even right now on my album covers that I got out right now, um, it's people that got a problem with that. I see you. I mean, um, let, let's talk about that briefly. I see you representing, man. I don't think no, and that's a good dude. I fuck with Bimmy. Uh, that's a good guy, man, and he doing his thing right now. He he actually making South Jamaica Queens look real good right now. Yes, you know what yes. I'm saying? So yes. I don't know why people always try to have some deviation and, and some create some you know some separation and shit, man. Like, and it ain't that real, man. Uh, in regards to to them though, people are sensitive about the preen team. So. Yeah, yeah, very very sensitive right now, and, I, and I'm just trying to explain to to my to my hood that listen, if y'all if y'all rock with me, how y'all say you rock with me. And you say you say you rock with me. You shouldn't. If you got a problem with anybody on my T-shirt, that's a personal issue. Yeah. You know, you gotta don't. You can't wait till I'm doing my thing to try to stop me from doing my thing. That's some sucker okay. shit, man. If you love me, man, you got to love my shirt, man. Thank the you. fuck Thank is you, you talking God. about? <laughs> Thank you, God. I'm glad you said it. Thank you, God. Yeah, man. You know? Like, so I'm yeah. telling you some sucker shit out here. A little bit of sucker shit. Everything else is up. For the, for the, for the most part, 99% of it is love out here in the South Side. I got this 1% of some sucker shit going on. Right? I, wrote, I, mean, I wrote a chapter about Bimmy in my book, some things I've been through, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, in my opinion, gotta, in my opinion, that story is flawless. Right. You know what I'm saying? From being on a Joan Rivers show with Run DMC. You know what I mean? Right. To being with LL Cool J and contributing to albums and shit like that. Like, just... And he's still here, yeah. relevant. Nigga still fresh. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I mean? Still got his diddy bop and all of that. Like, yeah, I, I, right. I, 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 I want to make sure that... That's something that I aspire to be when I get his age. I want to be still fly. You know what I mean? And... Successful yeah. and active and shit, just like that. So, yeah, I agree. I definitely agree. You know, it's especially when you know the story and what these brothers been through. Like to see any of these brothers out here, out here walking around looking good, making money, it's a beautiful thing. You know, so I don't, I don't see why anybody would have a problem with it. But you know, I just try to keep my blinders on and, 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 and focus on what I'm doing. How how old were you when Freaky Todd was out there? Uh, when Freaky Ty was out here, I might have been, oh, wow, I don't remember the night Freaky Ty got uh, murdered. Uh, I might have been maybe 20, 20, 21, maybe 21 or something like that. Right. Yeah, maybe maybe 21, 20 when Freaky Ty got murdered. So you was in the streets when Ty was a, a, a figure out there. Yeah, yeah, I was in the streets. I yeah. hear, I hear good things yeah. about him, man. <laughs> I used to see this. I used to see Ty walk around. I swear to God, he had like fifty, hundred dudes walking with him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like down Jamaica Avenue, like around the whole hood. Like yeah. he, he, that brother had some real great energy with him. And I was, I was young. You know, they were older than me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was, I was really like, like stuck, like seeing that energy and that power that that brother had, man, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard, a, I heard a lot about him. Yeah, good things good, about Good it. dude. Yeah, good dude. Top, uh Cheeks, good dude, definitely. Uh, shout out to Stick Nice. He just came home, too. Just came uh, home from, uh, he had a 37-year bid. I don't know if he kicked out the whole, I don't think he kicked out the whole 37, but I, that you know that's my field. When I seen he came home, I remember when he got sentenced, I went and looked up the case. Them niggas right. is getting busy. <laughs> 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 Hey, yo, that's that Chaz Williams shit. Yeah, <laughs> that Chaz it's, Williams it's, shit. Yeah. yeah so. it's, it's, it's like, it, it, that's, that's, how, that's how a lot of moving, moving going on over here. Yeah, a lot of moving going on like that. And um, it's good to see him bounce back from that. You know, I'm, I'm sure he got his bruises, but it's good to see him home definitely, man. Yeah, that Chaz Williams salute. Rest in peace to Chaz for real. Another good right. brother, man. Met him. Met him a couple of times, man, running around the hood. Good brother, man.
Yeah, yeah, good strong guy. Uh, I met him, him and Luke Stefan. All them go. All of them guys been real good to me. You know, on my, you know, um, travels and shit. Um, criminal God, man, I appreciate you for coming through. I just wanted to let my audience hear you and hear your story. Tell them where your where your where your body of music and what you're doing is where it's available at online, so they can come and you know get some singles or something. Right. Well, first, Gully TV, I want to thank you, brother, for having me on your platform. I appreciate you. Salute. Um, it's, it's an honor to be on here, brother. Again, again, thank you. And um, as far as finding your boy Cosmo Criminal Guard, I'm on all streaming platforms. That's your boy Cosmo. Um, I'm on YouTube, your boy Cosmo, Tyloo, uh, all these platforms, man. Happy Music, everything under your boy Cosmo, Criminal Guard. No doubt. I appreciate you coming through again, man. Um, I'm looking forward to more releases, and um, I'm gonna I'm keep track to you. I want want to make thing, one thing understood. I don't do this with, with I don't just do this with anybody, man. Right. This right here, what we doing right now? I don't just do this with anybody, man. I, I do it with niggas who I think got a shot. Right. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. So. I appreciate that, and I, I appreciate you saying something to me. You know. That, that, to, 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 to even make, you know, give me the opportunity to make a move like this with you, for real. Yeah. And I definitely got a joint dropping on November 1st called Living and Lit. And um, I got a joint dropping on November 17th. That's Monday. Called... <laughs> That's Monday. Monday. <laughs> tell them, nigga. God, tell them. We got a joint dropping Monday. What's the name of the Monday joint? Give me a drop and we up out of here, my nigga. Until next time. Yes, I got you. You ready? You ready? It's your boy Cosmo. We're going to go to TV. Queens in the building. Southside should make us the criminal guard, y'all. Check us out, man. Go to TV. Your boy Cosmo, criminal guard. We out here. Who you with? Peace.